Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. In the video, Dress Form Hats, I showed you how to make a hat with a domed crown to it. We used a polystyrene ball to create this. But for this style hat, I'm going to show you how to make a different shape to the dome and we're not going to use the polystyrene balls. Now to create this hat, these are the circles that I'm going to use. And I'm deliberately not giving you sizes because it will depend on the size of your dress form. And these polystyrene balls will give you some idea of the size that you need to make for the hat because these need to correspond to the dress form. This is the size that I'm going to use. This one is too small. So we're going to start with the base to the hat. And the first circle needs to be one that will fit on, the, on top of the, the, the polystyrene ball because this would be the size of the hat for that head. So I'm going to cut a shape with that one. And then with the second to the largest, I'm going to cut another shape. Now once you have your two circles, with your largest circle and your smallest die, you're going to pop that in the middle, you're going to draw around it, and then from the centre to the outer rims, you're going to cut with your craft knife, you're going to cut those segments. You're not going to cut them out, you're just going to cut down to the rim. Now once you've cut these, you're going to fold these points, just bend them back to the circle that you drew. And that's all you're going to do with those for now. Now another piece that you need is just a straight piece. And this one is about four, four and a half centimetres. And it needs to be enough to go around that circle. So. Fold it in half and then along the edge you're just going to cut V's in it. And you're going to do that all along. It doesn't have to be neat and tidy, don't worry about it. You cut this into like, it's like teeth. You've got your brim, you have your centre bit. And this bit you need to curve. So if you bring it to the edge of your work surface and hold it down and just pull it through your hands, that will give it some curve. And that then is going to be glued around the edge of the circle. And you can then trim it to size and you will have that shape. So once you've got it all glued down and you've trimmed off the excess, just put it down onto your mat and you're going to fit the brim around that and glue all these in place to the shape. And that will give you that kind of a base for your hat. Now once that's glued in place, just snip the points off along the top so it all lies nice and flat. Now, depending on the size that you do the this that you've cut out, that will give you a different depth to your hat. Now, from your chosen fabric, if you remember, it was this size that we used to cut the rim. So from the bigger size, I'm going to cut myself two circles with the smaller die in the middle and I'm going to keep these centre bits because I need one of them and then from a die that's just a little bit bigger than the dome from the, the top of the hat I'm going to cut myself another shape and then I also need a piece of felt that will fit inside the hat and just a bit taller than the actual rim so we've got the shape, we have the fabric cut. The first thing we're going to do is glue that one in place. So if you do the two opposite corners, then come to the two other opposite corners, and then you can glue the fabric down as you go. 
So let's just pop these in place. Now if you stretch it out and bring it over the other side, and again just stretch it a little bit, bring it over to the other side, and now you can go around and just glue these in place nice and neatly. Once you have that glued in place, you're going to take one of your rims with the cut out centre and you're going to pop that over the top and that then will also need to be glued in place. But if you look, it's bigger than the cardboard rim. Now once you've got that glued in place, turn the hat over and take the strip and you're going to glue that strip inside that rim with just a small part overhanging. Now once you have that glued in place you're going to take one of your smaller circles from the larger one and you're just going to pop that inside and glue it in place. Now once you've got that glued inside you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to snip along the overhang. And once you've gone all the way around that, you're just going to glue all that down to the outside rim. Now once you've got that glued in place, if you want to add some trim around the outer edge of your hat, now is the time to do it. So you're going to add it around there and then when this piece is added, it hides the workings of the hat. I'm not going to put trim on mine so I'm just going to pop that in place and glue it down to the hat and that will be the hat the basic finished now because this hat is going with this dress form I'm going to use the same ribbon and I'm going to take it around the outside edge of the brim of the the dome now, along the outside edge of the hat I'm just going to glue in some beading and that will just hide the join. So there's my beaded trim around the edge. I'm going to glue in place some feathers. I shall add in a little rose and a bow. So there's the finished hat with the beaded trim and the flowers on it. It's all lined inside and it's ready to just pop onto the mannequin and it's ready to go.